All right, all right, all right. Let's continue with Divinity Original Sin 2. Solo Necromancer Run. Let's finally, finally go to the cathedral. Actually, before that, I just realized that I, I did go to level... I did go to level 20, so I should talk to the, all the merchants and check what, uh, what gear they have. So they might have some... Uh, I would particularly be interested in have, finding a really good hat. If I, if I would luck out, luck out with amazing amount of intelligence. Amazing amount of intelligence on hats. That would be fantastic. Or some really lucky ring, I guess. Get moving. It's the busiest day of the year. Boots I will get in just a moment, actually. Did I find the workshop? No, I didn't yet. I'll uh, no. Uh, I don't, and I, and I don't want any uh, any spoilers about uh, relics of Rivalon, but we will uh, we will keep on looking. I I think there might be some hints as well about that, but let's let's see when I uh, when I get through that. Uh, yeah, nothing uh, nothing here. Let me actually check that. Did it? Uh, a long workshop. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure this is the this is the puppeteer's place, so it would be it would be here. Okay, is that it actually okay it's It is showing it is showing it on the map as well. <laughs> okay, so let's let's go to it. So I I figured that out without without the quests quest the flag, but uh, thanks game. So this is for the relics of Rivalon. Let's do that part and uh, let's see about the toy maker after that. Yeah we see this uh you see these, um, well, whatever, whatever it's also. So when you cast the spirit vision, with, um, with the item still on you, oh, there it is. It was like where is it? But uh, um, and you talk, talk, you get some information, and then you can. Uh, you can get the what demon to talk and reveal for? the next location. That voice is the only thing that close. I perfection must be. Okay, he didn't he didn't tell much. Every fine trinket here catches your eye. The joy of them dances within you. This is where you belong. The craft, the detail. You could spend the rest of your life here. Then your longing is crushed underfoot. In its wake, ashes fall from the ceiling. Oppressive heat presses in as a low growl rumbles against you. The craft mistress is bound to the helmet. She spent countless hours here, honing her art to master his edge. This is where the outlaw empress found her, promising she would create dragonbone armor without parallel. Massive claws run up your spine and grip the back of your neck. With the squeeze, a sculpted rune appears in your hands. A gift for your loyalty. Let it be a reminder that greater rewards will come when you prove yourself worthy. Your hunt is not yet over. Seek the armor piece hidden in the lizard's enclave. Complete the set, and we shall meet face to face. The voice disappears, and with it the cloak of... Okay, so we know the last piece for the Devourer sets is in the Lizard Embassy. Is being evil the only way to do this run? Um, no, but if you if you consider everyone who's made out of XP evil, then if you want to collect absolutely all the possible experience, then yes, you have to be evil. So basically, what I've been doing on this run 
getting all the possible experience that is in by no means necessary for the game. The game is balanced in a way that you get get to high enough level by just doing the kind of the main quest things. And uh, you still get to high enough level to beat the game. Uh, on tactician it might be a little bit difficult, but you still get it too. But the uh, way I do it, like I kill absolutely everyone, get all the experience, that gets me to a uh, level, the highest level faster, and in the end, like even one, at least one level higher that is would be possible, like if you don't do absolutely everything. Okay, but uh, we know that um, now that the devourer armor is in the in the lizard embassy, but. So I know almost nothing about I know almost nothing about the contamination. Daddy is going to fix you right up. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, pardon. There's a hint in arcs. Oh, thanks, Verandu. I'm uh, I'm sure there is. Well, let's keep on looking. Yeah, that that's the thing. Like when I was playing this game for the first time, completely blind, I was uh, I was just stumbling, stumbling wrong, like following the tips I found, and uh, and uh, I got through just fine. So, uh, kind of uh, doing doing absolutely everything, and I, I didn't. Uh, in my first playthrough, I, I played as like I usually do, as a, as a good good person, so I didn't kill anyone who didn't uh, attack me, basically. Gods, those flames! And Void Woken, the ancient Empire Consulate. You'd go in there? So... <laughs> I think these guys were selling some the elf raises her head good and items. Her nose at you. Memories and scholarship. Heady pursuits that elevate none is like the limbs they tear from each other. She nods silently. Uh, she's selling these boots, and these boots are amazing. Marvelous magic right at your fingertips. Probably the best boots in the game. For almost almost any class. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. They also give fineness without having fineness requirements. That is also amazing. Most okay. Marvelous take my. Right shut up, Arabe, and take my money. <laughs> yeah, that's, even that she was not talking to begin with. So, now we have Callistas. We do. Do we even lose anything? We lose one movement, uh, we, lo we lose half a movement, but we gain initiative, we gain sneaking, we gain thievery, we gain finesse, we gain scoundrel. Th those are boots are so good. They're so good. And uh, can I still combine these with, uh, with nails as well to make them immune to slipping as well? Most marvelous magic right at your feet. Yes, I can. So, critical chance, sweet. So yeah, I, I don't really need the money for anything. Okay, so with peace of mind, we are at 85 at the moment. Okay. Oh, so Hela is here. I don't remember how uh, we have uh, kept Sahela alive all this time. Most marvelous magic right at your fingers. Interesting, is it actually finally time to murder her? Hmm. I don't think she had any quests here anymore. It gives me joy to see you. 
Yeah, I, I just murdered all your friends in now. Uh, in all the locations before this. <laughs> we stand, the mother stands tall. The scion Sabil bitch war is coming. It gives me joy. Alright, so she's just here and we'll we'll come to murder her later. I never saw you before, Elf. Welcome to Ark. Nope. No time for even a the merchant. Sna Sorry, couldn't resist. I know it's just unhappy. Oh, it's just he waves his. I create my own. Done shopping then. I help you to know and understand. Okay, nothing special there. Hey there, Vitarik. My stuff will. You have the trust of Lord Arthur. Show that you deserve. Okay, when, where did, uh, where did the Kim's assassins attack me? That's the question. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Internet died only 50 times. I think it might have been here. Okay, it was not here. So because I told told Kem that I know his black ring, he will send assassins after me. And they trigger trigger in a specific spot, but I don't remember where it is. Okay. Get tea trouble. Completely blind? You didn't make it to Act Three. Uh, not on that side. I pledge my life. I found yeah, there's a uh, there's hidden hidden stuff there in the statue. We don't need it. That's the that is the part of the part of the fate set actually. Let's actually send those in and now. These I'm still holding on to. More is more, I don't need that anymore right now. Store it there. Come back, dear Lucian. I pledge my brother's life. Please return. Okay. Yeah, this this game is uh There's there's a there's a lot. There's lots in this game. And uh, I, I like the overall plot in this game. I like the overall overall plot of the... I'm, I'm not going to... Because this has not been a story playthrough. I'm not even going to talk about it in this one. But the whole, whole thing about, uh, about this world, about the void, about the veil in between. And all those, it's... Uh, it is uh, it is amazing. Please return. Uh... Hmm. I remember that, uh, there was a really good weapon here somehow hidden. Hidden, but was it actually actually in one of these. I remember it being out in the open. It's basically being held by one of the statues. It's not that. Yeah, this uh, this cathedral here is uh, is a pretty pretty cool place. Yeah, and just uh, just the area here, kind of. Uh, even that you you kind of just uh, you're kind of running through it. This, uh, this cathedral here, you're kind of running through it. But uh, there's, there's so many... 
so many things in here that uh, if you really want to kind of uh, look at the look at the little things, there's a uh, this whole lot more whole lots of uh, things to kind of uh, little little things. It like it looks real. It looks like a real cathedral in this game world, and that's not always the case when uh, when. Uh, so basically, there's a, there's a lot more here than needs to be, because they wanted to make the world real. And I really like that. Okay. For some reason, I have a memory. The weapon I'm looking for, the weapon I'm looking for, would be held by a held by a statue. So I'm so I'm talking talking about the Fallon. Was it actually in one of these? Uh... Oh, Lucian, please return. Yeah, I will. I will see about this. How did this? Uh... How did this work? Nothing special there. Sweet, sweet darling. I remember it was very, very tricky to find, but not even tricky to find. But it was kind of a uh, not so, not so obvious. Similar to the way uh, makers of Planes Game Torment made their towns feel alive. Yeah, I, I, I like that about games. Yeah, this tally is a little bit faithful there. First room on the left as you enter the cathedral area. At the right. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, yes, thank you. I kind of thought I was here, but I was actually... May Lucian return. Uh, yes. Good luck on the Seems unlikely. <laughs> For a moment I scared when they stopped me. Uh, I thought I was here already, but I actually was here in the other room. Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks, Higray. Thanks. I remember this being a little tricky to steal. Uh, so yeah, here uh, this uh, this statue is just holding the weapon. So kind of you you might be used to uh, you might be used to uh, the things being in being in containers. But this uh, this is just here. And uh, oh, you can actually steal it. I remember this being much trickier here to steal. Nope, no robberies. No robberies. Run. No robbery. Five. No robbery. No robberies done. Not me. Five. No one robbed anything. Okay. So Fallon here gives two intelligence, two warfare. So I get one of warfare extra and two intelligence, and I get uh, twenty percent uh, critical chance still. So that's my that's my weapon now, and that's probably my weapon until the end of the game. So let's uh, let's manage that. Let's put that in, and. I might as well. I don't think it actually matters at all to me, but I can uh, I can add one of these eternal artifacts here. It gives it. I don't even remember what it adds, but it does add something. Uh, okay, I'm not actually sure what does that, what does it actually add there. It adds... 
Oh, it actually adds the... It's, <laughs> it's, it's such a long one. It adds air damage there in, the, there in the top, and then it adds that set shock chance. So if I actually hit with it, it will do something else. So air, more air damage on that one. It's so like it's so odd in this game, like how uh, how the tooltip is like. Please scale that down a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that puts me like apart from my hat, apart from my hat, maybe this band of the faithful ring. I think I have my final gear, but this is not yet my my final form. Because I'm not yet uh, on level 21. Okay, so what do we want to do now? That was... That was just for you. Just for you, Viterik. I saw your name there, so I had to say that. Okay, let's um, let's go fight um, fight the lizards. That's, a, that's an interesting place, and we'll also also get the last piece of the last piece of the Please do whatever of the um, devourer sets, possibly. That's a bit void folk. Surprised at the okay, but this uh, this place is a is a pain in the backside, or can be. So let's see how this goes. This is no ordinary fire. Careful, this fire's of the void. Void will the lizards inside the consulate by all means, but if you run into trouble because they're collaborating. Okay. Mm. What was the way to put out cursed fires? Did blood do it? Less blood? Do I actually even require it? I remember that tor tornado was really good in here. Do I actually have? I only have one now. I think I'm missing. I've been creating tornado scrolls. I remember these fires. Fires actually being here. Was it actually that blood actually gets them off when the cloud goes away? I don't think it actually does. I need to bless. Let's see when the cloud goes away. Makes it a little bit easier in this place if you don't have the cursed, cursed fires around. With these uh, cursed revenants. Okay, that is staying around. I think if I bless that bless that cloud, it will uh, will get rid of it. But it's a little time consuming. Time consuming, so it's um, little time consuming. So it's um. Tornado would help uh, help me a little bit more. But let's um, let's go restock my uh, my source here. Ah! 
Actually, I have, I have so much stuff that I, uh, I, I need to... Uh... No. Let's go empty the inventory a little bit. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Many more of those on my sleeve. Okay, sell that, sell that, not sell that, sell that. God woken are going to be the death of me. Mm. I could actually use this hat to cast a tornado if I want to. So I might keep it for now. <laughs> These god woken are going to be the death of me. Okay, are you carrying something? Yeah, but that's one that I sold to you. Summoning things. Hats, 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 hats. <laughs> Alright, you, you didn't uh, you didn't get any new stuff. Yeah, that's the that's the ring that I sold before. I could use that one as well temporarily. I buy it back. Hmm. How much do the massive piles of coin actually weigh? Um, gold is coin uh, weightless, so it's a nine nine. Nine 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 doesn't wait anything. Such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet uh, to settle down at this You way. sell the tornado, right? Okay, let's buy that. A ring. A ring would be the most simple one. Would be the most simple one, so then I could change or change to it if I need to. You so must I think I will. Company, Something you wanted? I think I will actually take. Actually, take this one here and just wear it. Wear it over the Ring of Intelligence for uh, oh. temporary purposes. So we'll uh, we'll be using Many this ring. We'll be selling team. that one. We'll uh, I don't actually need this one either. With uh, so I can change into that one temporarily as well, and it it makes no difference. And then I can learn the tornado. Oh. And just use the tornado instead oh. of um, say the bliss. And then I can Grand use this stop, in, the, in the outskirts fight as well if I want to. Allies for hire. So let's go. Let's go do this fight now that I have the tornado. I was making scrolls for this fight, but uh, let's uh, let's do it. Uh, let's do the extra fights here.
tornado will make it uh, make it a little bit simpler. Pretty careful. I've spotted a trap. Pretty pretty interesting because you are you have to have a very tight very tight place to actually actually jump in here. You can do this fight without clearing the death fog, but it will uh, it will make some things a little bit simpler. But uh, this is a like in a normal conditions, this is a super tricky fight with my stupid lone wolf necromancer. This is uh, well not trivial, but kind of close to it. That did actually trigger the fight, which was not my purpose specifically, but uh, let's uh, let's go with it. So I think this is definitely one of the fights where you want to go all in with uh, something like Apo. Not necessarily need it, but uh, we'll uh, we'll go with it. So let me see, let's pile these guys up a bit first. So maybe pick up you from there. Or you there. <laughs> the amount of health I just gained was kind of ridiculous. <laughs> I gained 2700 uh, health from that. Okay. Um, let me see. If I do Bloodstorm, someone needs to die. That one is dying for sure, so I can, uh, can actually kind of do it here. Make sure that uh, they are all, all affected in it. So let's do it. Do it. Uh, oh, there. Okay, Loic still survived. These guys are alive, but um, I did get um, did get uh, execution AP from it. So now we can skin craft, skin craft, and together with uh, with the flesh sacrifice and more adrenaline, I can actually throw the bloodstorm again. So let's go let's go into the crazy mode here. So if I wonder will will any of them actually survive? No, let's just uh, let's just pick her up or him. I don't know. Throw him there. And then we can do another another bloodstorm. And then there's just a bone golem left. Oh, 
Oh, I actually need to cast something this turn. So yeah, as said, this this fight is actually super hard if you come here with normal party and not not dumb lone wolf guy like uh, like this is. Especially with the bloodstorm. Okay. But in order to loot the place a little bit easier, the tornado helps quite a bit. Because I'm not not undead. Why do I keep looting all this all these gold things? I, I don't have no idea. Can't help myself. Barrels of dead folk lying around are fun to hit with that battle stump or so. Yeah, yeah. Actually, is there a dead folk barrel there? I know there are. Oh, there it is. Yeah, they are. So you could actually pick these up and do uh, do some fun things with that. But uh, we don't we don't really need any any stuff like that. Okay, I'm I'm afraid of actually teleporting Careful that. Uh, That's a trap. I'm scared of teleporting that. Uh, Better give it a wide berth. Did I even die to that? No. I didn't want to teleport that chest because I could kill it. Yeah, I think that's a, that's a storybook, so it's not being sold. How does one put death fork in a barrel? I guess undead do it. Or very, very carefully. <laughs> that is a that is a good question. How does one put death fork in a barrel? Back at the Lizard Embassy. And I said the, the tornado. Tornado is kinda extra. I don't really, really need it here, but it does help a little bit. I kinda wanted to guess that before, but these guys are not that hard to kill. But the mechanic here, here is that they, they resurrect themselves with these cursed fires. So that can be a little tricky because um, you will be uh, you will basically have to fight them so many times that it's a little little stupid stupid even. So let's go there. Let's do the flash. Let's get them together. At least close enough. Will I be doing another playthrough of uh, of Dust 2? Um, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. I do like this. I'm I'm thinking about doing something because this was... I first thought this would be a challenge. <laughs> but the challenge in this run actually ended up being more about how to get the... How to get the maximum experience. Uh, especially when I... Well, especially when I started saves coming, of course. But uh, with a solo character like this, uh, it's not even that hard. I was thinking of actually doing something like a more of a normal playthrough, maybe with the magic party or something. 
and actually uh, have to think about have to think about things a bit. about making that corpse explode but then I suddenly re suddenly remembered that uh, of course they uh, I can't actually make them make them uh, swap like that you hate red prince so much that's snobby bastard so yeah they uh, they resurrect like that and they actually get a turn Turn to go before you, because they kind of reappear into the fight. But uh, if uh, if you want any consolation, Brander, uh, Red Prince is the only only of the origin characters that actually lets you get uh, more experience over the over the playthrough with uh, with his quest line. Right, so they will be they will be resurrecting some more as well. So let's do that. Took the bless away, well that was dumb. So you died. Just one one skin craft now. Gives me the other tornado. Died. I think died because I it didn't have a cursed fire to go to. This one thinks it has a chance to jump somewhere. I'm not sure, sure so if it can find something, can it still go to these fires? Teleported there? Oh, this. Right. These annoying creatures. Tornado is making this a whole lot, whole lot easier. So you have to kill them so many times in a, with the normal pod. It's uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a little tricky. Oh, there's another fire lamp here. So a a lizard here. Mm -hmm. 
Does Battle Stomp actually remove the Cursed Fires as well? It does remove surfaces. Let me, uh, let me first take care of you. Work in sir. Doesn't work in toes. Okay, so he's getting he's getting resurrected, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, when. Uh, when they resurrect, the Necrofire disappears. So there's 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 finite amount of Necrofire here, but uh, there's like enough of Necrofire for this to be annoying, like really annoying. Because he will find all the little pieces of Necrofire, even like that, or Cursed Fire. So it is uh, it is annoying. And you get a lot of them, like I just did. So they, they just uh, they just appear. Okay, I might be in uh, in a little bit of trouble here. Um, let's see. So can I swap a Reno? Can I swap a Reno with you? So then you guys are kinda close to each other. Uh, I used all my jumping abilities. Moving around, so I think I will use Flesh Sacrifice here. Then we use a Skin Craft. We get more action points. We want to jump. We jump, jump. Actually, take care of these ones as well. Okay. Let's take that fire away. If I just walk. I haste myself by jumping. I can't touch you. The enemies have started using a wiki for the best party build to kill the other. Yes. <laughs> that's uh that's completely acceptable. Wow, you actually survived. Oh, I don't think he's actually in range for that. It's unfortunate. That's not the it's not the best best possible turn from me. If they would have knocked down arrows, I might have actually been in, in a little bit of a trouble there. So 
So there's still, still. Uh, no, this is normal fire now. Uh, there's still cursed fire there that I think they consider. Consider themselves uh, resurrecting weeds. One Do I even get experience for these guys? I don't even know if I get experience for these guys because they are assholes. I take the battering ram. So they are no longer. I, I guess. I guess this doesn't. They don't consider this anymore. So I actually got that one executed. Executed in there. Yeah, even the normal hits are actually pretty decent now. Especially when I crit. Is that nightmare over? So yeah, the, the worst thing about this place is that none of these lizards actually give experience. Like, how how awful is that? Like, you go through all this absolutely crazy mayhem, and you don't even get the experience points, apart from the quest. there were more more of the lizards but maybe that was it let's see if more appear here maybe if they do maybe I should uh, maybe I should tornado this place was all of it. I didn't think it'd be possible to make it into the console. He looks at you in some void reverence. My he stands back from you. Uh, I'm sorry. Time to be 
No! No! Are these guys leaving? If these guys if these guys disappear, those paladins. What I what I think because they are generic generic ones they might just uh, disappear into the void so that means lost experience if I just let them walk. Yep, there they go. That is annoying. That is so annoying. And I didn't even uh, didn't even really get any uh, any benefit from uh, telling them that uh, that was all right. So having a having a massive uh, massive uh, quest like this, and you basically get no uh, no benefit from it. Okay, so we will uh, maybe we will murder these ones instead because that will uh, that will give us a little bit of experience. Mm. Okay, the tricky thing is, the tricky thing is, can I, can I actually do it in a way that I could still talk to? They may be point 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 still in there. So what if I like pick you up, just throw you here? Okay, that's worked. I actually got to fight this one alone. So the lady. <laughs> <laughs> Lady outside was talking to this friend of his, or well, the other paladin, <laughs> and then all of all of a sudden the other paladin just disappears in the thin air. Hey, fif almost fifty-four thousand. That's almost got away. That would have been that would have been horrible. That would have been horrible. Okay, so let's let's see what if I. What if I... Should I still talk to her and get the quest done and then... All these all these people will see me kill her. It's not cool. Hmm. I didn't think it'd be possible to make it into the consulate, but you... He looks at you. Void! He stands... You... I'm so... No. Okay, I will. I will kill her here before she disappears. This will be close. Here. Nice. Perfect murder. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nothing to see here. Okay, so that only thing, only thing that this was actually add, add the couple of, add the couple of um, lines of dialogue into the quest. But the uh, important thing was the hundred thousand experience from those paladins. So now there was, uh, I know there's the normal things here, but there's also the whole thing about uh, with the devour armor. It should be here somewhere as well. The garden at least is unscathed. So we have the hunger from behind. Not guarded by lizards. Okay, 
there's a portal. That's the that's the main thing here. I've spotted something. What did you spot? Oh, I hate that. I hate when that happens. Oh, I hate when that happens so much. Okay, what is what is that weapon? Let me take this away from the so we can see this. It's actually a pretty good weapon for us as well. So I might still have to still have to um look into the two handing. Two handing of that one. Okay, what did I what did I spot? I, I see something, she said, and then uh Oh, is it this one? Ah, oh, maybe you saw that one. Interesting. That is, that is true. How did you, did you, did you actually need a cooking spot for those? Although these are, these are just completely extra here. I'm not sure if I actually will need them. Um, no, you need, uh, you need the teapots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to. You need to go to a uh, lady Kems. True. What's this? I found something. What? Did, what did you find again? Wait, a minute, you found this? Ooh. Ooh, what is this? What is this? Aha! I think this is new stuff. Ah, yes. Take every sacred artifact you can carry with you to the water. Yes, even that heresy of the Devourer. Cannot let armor with such power fall into wrong hands. Take it all to water. Is it here? Jaws emerge from the heart of this breastplate. Looking into the open mouth is dizzying. Ash and a warm red mist surround you. Uh, the city has no lizard architecture save the building in front of that longing rear as the feeling disappears. Free, free a rune slots. Sensation slips down your it's insane. Okay, so what I have to do now is get the whole set and wear it. Probably in here. Encouraged us to visit mm -hmm, and found a note. He told us escape using boats. Can't pick a lock. It's interesting. There's a dead lizard. I don't have pick locks, do I? Pick locks. I mean, I'm. I, I don't have lock picks even. That's the. That's the word.
that small sack has as much gold as the giant pile of gold, yes. Okay, so now I need... Now I need to get the whole... I also don't I don't need that tornado anymore, so I can uh, I can do this. I can send this back. There's the devourer thing. I need to get all the all those pieces. They should be should be at Lady Vengeance. And then uh, then wear them. Do I need to wear them? Oh, it is showing the blaze of longing here again. Right, so again, since I picked it up, I get this tip. A lizard in ritualistic garb keeps her vid in eternity's dream. I have seen you time and again. Time stands still in this moment. Yet my dreams speak of horrors too. Dragon's teeth, the roar of fire. They just there is a place of safety in the city. A single facet of the ancient empire, yet far from its majesty. And take me to the place that consumes my dreams. Then the truth will become clear. Like how how did Viola figure out from that? <laughs> that it, it was the it was this enclave. I can I can see the quest arrow there even without talking to this one, but how how did from all of that we actually figure out that this would be the place? I have no idea. Okay. Um let's leave that there. Let's go to let's go to Kemp's place. Let's go make some tea. Just in case I want to do some absolutely insane insane turns at some point. I don't think I will ever actually need them, but, uh, but there is a teapot here. There it is. So let's make better better versions of these. Do pass the tea. Yes, ma'am. You're looking well, Balaidi. Shall Lord Ken be joining us, my lady? Linda, I fear, is far too busy with his little group. Perhaps he may find some time for us later. But it's actually considered a potion. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Yeah, I can't, I can't speak this up. Okay, so I just have to... I have to keep on clicking combine. Mantos tea leaves are <laughs> such insane. Minus minus AP cost. Everything is free. I even bought the fire resistance ones. Do you mind? I have guests at present. This is not the time or the place. And you are evidently not the sort I should be consorting with. Judging yeah, take by your my, manners. Take my 9,000 for your, for your tea leaves. Shall Lord Kem be joining us, my lady? As said, I don't actually see myself using this apart, apart from maybe testing out just how just how ridiculous I could I could make things with this uh, with this build. This uh, this tea is completely OP. It is also very hidden. Because unless you just go talk to talk to uh, Lady Kem, who basically tells tells you to uh, just uh, GTFO, uh, if you don't press the trade button, you never see these tea leaves because she's the only one selling these. I'll talk to my husband. So it's kind of a interesting, sir. weird secrets in in the game. And then you get these. Uh, you add add two to your maximum AP, not that relevant to my character, and uh, you can get uh, fire resistance, but then uh, you can have minus two AP cost. So basically, everything, almost everything, costs just one action point, and my character, who can with skin craft already, have 
children, sir. Uh, then we had six. Six, um, six, nine, twelve, execution, fourteen. Fourteen action points. And if I would drink this into that one, that would be, uh, like, three and a half normal turns of actions with everyone costing nothing, basically. So yeah, there's there's absolutely nothing in the game that can uh, that can handle that and give uh, without any adding adding some mods and actually adding the difficulty. Come out, come out you are. But now let's um, let's go and get the rest of the devourer's gear. Let's go see about the relics of Rivalon. Boss. The the vulture boss in Act Two was super hard, so this might actually actually give a little bit of a challenge. Let's see. Um, okay, where's this thing? Where's the devourers? Devourers thingamajingy. Devourers more. Um. What am I missing? Uh, gloves and... Those are the gloves. Four out of five. Oops. have to do I actually have to wear it all or sadness grips you at the sight of the ruined lizard consulate so much has been lost the sky burns red and ash her people were severed in twain no matter her visions a dream of peace would never come true. I said it would be so. The dreamer is bound to this breastplate. She tried to lure the Empress away and was sacrificed to the Devourer. Huge claws wrap around your chest and squeeze. With your ribs about to shatter, an orb of pure energy appears in your palm. Yes, I am. I am Monster the Edith. Devourer. The spirit of the dreamer shall obey. Tell her to bring you to where my spirit rests, and I shall bestow my power upon the armor you wear. Bestow my power. Something heavy cuts through the air, like the whip of a gigantic tail. The vision ends, but a cold presence stands behind you. Hey, home master, home master. Thank you so much for the sub with Prime, man. Yes. Thanks for the follow, follow, followed immediately by that uh, sub with Prime. Thank you so much, man. Welcome. Good to have you here. Yeah, this is this is a little annoying for me to wear this. Because I will, uh, I will lose lose some of my things, but I guess I guess I will still do it. So I will, I will have to reset my spells, basically. Why do I start to bleed? What is causing me? Is one of these things causing me to bleed? 
resting place. Collect the full sets. We must talk to the Lizard Dreamer in order to meet the Devourer. So I don't necessarily need to be wearing these full sets. It is enough if I... if I have it. Maybe. It's a little, a little annoying to uh, lose those, lose some of those things. What did I, what else did I lose? Uh, what am I missing? I'm not missing anything there. Jump, scoundrel. So I'm not missing anything. Anything important? Then. Yeah, that's just, I, I, I had the tornado, but now I'm no longer using that. So I guess I'm just uh, one slot extra right now from my usual usual setup. Tap the dead fish there, just for the heck of it. Okay, so if I talk to the I talk to the dreamer here. So let's do this again. Can I uh, can I actually get there without? Without the sets. A lizard in heavy ritual garb stands before you, awaiting your attention. Ah, the fractured empire. I thank you for showing me what remains. The cruelty of my kin must be undone to honor its memory. Okay. What sort of cruelty? That of the outlaw empress in her misguided quest to claim the devourer's power. She wished to overcome the true emperor and sought the dragon's bones to make armor that could channel the beast. It made her into a monster. She was already prone to brutality, but the voice of the devourer bid her to rip soul from flesh. Now our spirits are bound to this armor. We cannot escape without your aid. This cannot continue. The Devourer seeks to ascend by claiming a champion who will feast on the ones bound to this set. I beg of you, with utmost humility, you must prevent his rise, no matter the cost. That shall not be an easy task. The fanatic hisses in disdain, but the dreamer ignores him completely. The dragon's dream sleeps within the armor. I can lead you to this dream to destroy the Devara's essence, but until he dies, you will be locked in the Hall of Echoes. I am not strong enough to free you alone. The other spirits watch you, wary and unable to hide their interest. Will you confront the Devara and set us free? Mm. You okay. must be sure. The Devourer rules <coughs> his dream. The game and all the saves here. Until he is defeated. Okay, let's Do go. Do not listen to her. She is a coward and a traitor, turning you away from your true path. The fanatic seeks only to corrupt you. Were it not for his wicked devotion, the Devourer's power would never have spread. I will open the passage to the Dragon's Dream. But the fight is yours to win. Okay. Have no fear. I will shepherd us all to the dream, so you do not face the beast alone. Does that mean this nightmare will end? Rufus, we might be free! Aye. I heard her. <coughs> and I second the dreamer. We'll be right with you to take down that dragon. Quiet. Quiet! I wish to hear that voice again. 
The dreamer's chant lulls you into a calm haze as the world fades into the Hall of Echoes. Devourer's Dream. Don't go yet. As a crude stone arena, with an impact like an earthquake, the devourer descends. Thirty-two thousand. That will take a little while. The dragon's do I? Skull has uh, the question is, do I? Do I beat it on initiative? The of the devourer's gaze, trying to force you to kneel. What shape do your ambitions take now? Have you come to claim the true power of the armor, my pristine essence? Every spirit bound to the armor appears. The dreamer first among them. She turns to you, alert and aglow. I don't remember exactly how how many hit points does the doctor have in the demon form, but this might actually be more. This is your chance to free us. Do not bow to the great deceiver. What a magnificent creature! To the devourer's presence honors us. The dragon snarls at the interruption. His claws swipe through stone like it's parchment. No. She told me this day would come, but I prayed that it wouldn't. I... He's been sleeping here for centuries, hasn't he? This is what the Empress really wanted to dig up. <laughs> Looks more like a chicken from this angle rather than a dragon. Will you sacrifice <laughs> the power you deserve? That is, that is true, pardon. Spirits. Now I can't unsee it. <laughs> Devour them and ascend. Um. Okay, what's the... Like, I could devour the spirits. The hollows of the devourer's eyes glow. It's a starving, scouring light, pulling you in and refusing to let go. Once, you had no match in Rivalon's skies. You ruled over your lessers until age ravaged you into obscurity. Your bones were lost for eons. Then, mortal miners unearthed you, and a mad artisan forged your remains into armor. The armor anchored your spirit. You channeled your power into the Lizard Empress, but she was cut down. Now you need a new champion, one that will set the world ablaze. Okay, so what I'm what I'm thinking is that uh, hmm. like how how this fight. I guess I could try the different options. Like if I just. Uh, starts fighting here, then I have the allies, or I could devour the spirits and fight him alone. So let's let's try the number one option first. The ethereal world around you trembles as the devourer roars. He stares down at you with searing, seething hatred. Do you hear the beauty of the dragon's song? This is the majesty my empress held in her heart. You would waste my gift? I will rip you asunder, then strip my armor from your undeserving corpse. You will bow to me. Every vision that ensnared you, let my claws sink deep into your soul to betray me shall cost you everything. I will serve you, my master. All those who blaspheme shall be punished by my hand. The beast makes threats because he fears the end to come. You have chosen the bright... The dreamer chants in a swift, ancient cadence. Ethereal shackles burst from the void around you, seizing the devourer. 
You ain't getting out of these, beastie. Come on now, friend. Strike that pile of bones down. So I'm... Okay, so so three of them joined the fight. Two of them are on the dragon's side. Uh, they shackled it, but the dragon shackled me, I think. Okay, but these guys are good because they are corpse explosion material for me. So that's good. Okay, but the Shackles of Pain tells me I uh, I will need the Living on the Edge here. Okay, let's see where I'm, exactly where I stand, where can I jump. Oh, there's more allies here. Okay, so the Fanatic wants to fight me and then... Uh, Desire, Madness... Okay. Interesting. Interesting. A bloodstorm here would hit them all. So let's jump somewhere up in here first. A place where we can start taking my stats. Holy crap, I have 95 intelligence with uh, 95 intelligence with peace of mind. Oh wait, I'm gonna just, just, uh, just made it to the made it to the end and made it to the new fight in the relics of Rivalon. Okay. 85% crit chance. Okay, so Bloodstorm would be... It's probably, if I if I go with Apotheosis, this probably comes relatively trivial. I guess so, uh, let's, let's see how this goes with, uh, if I go full... If I do full Blast here. So I do need the Living on the Edge, because I'm shackled. I would otherwise probably die. So let's start with that, so I don't forget. Because otherwise, otherwise I would probably take too much of a beating. Then we could maybe... Yeah, they are so conveniently placed that uh, it's almost like made for Bloodstorm here. On the other hand, I do want to throw a Corpse Explosion there eventually as well. So let's see. So let's pick this guy up and uh, throw, uh, throw this one at the dragon. So there's... 5,000 5, from teleports, putting me... Okay, I I gotta do this now that uh, now that I was actually shackled and almost died. Um, I think I almost have to do... Have to do a death wish, just to see how ridiculous the damage will be. Because this actually gives me, gives me a chance to do that. Uh, the demon would give me some buffs. Mm. On the other hand, if I don't... Well, on the other hand, I have the Living on the Edge still on, but they could maybe knock me down. So will will one of them die to the Bloodstorm? That's the question. Give me, a, give me an extra turn. It also just killed a Fanatic here.
Okay, let's let's just go with let's just go with uh, go with this. Let's not uh, let's not do the bloodstorm. Let's see uh, let's see how this goes. So let's throw. Let's throw another one of those. This time I actually still kept my pants. So let's try it without uh, without upper now. Um, so if I. No, actually, actually, that was dumb. I should have should have not done what I did. But let's uh, let's see uh, let's see how this goes. Should have not done what I did. That was uh, that was a little dumb. Let's throw this guy here. What's that? Mm, fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand with corpse explosion. Okay, that's decent. So probably if I if I would have gone a bit up with Theos's bloodstorm, I probably could have killed him in one turn. They actually knock me down. Uh, or otherwise, like, put me, uh, put me in some sort of, uh, some sort of, um, lockdown. Okay, let's see what the devourer can do. <laughs> he missed. Oh, he does some some warfare stuff. Okay, what are these things? Reality tier. Okay, so uh, with um, with uncanny evasion, that was actually actually relatively relatively easy thing. Uh, but see, I I kind of screwed up with my skills actually making this super difficult for myself. Um, but let's see, let's see how this goes. So let's um, let's see what do we do next. Can I take a source from you. I could cast it, but I couldn't get a source. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, I think I, I think I messed up a bit there. I was, uh, I was thinking I would actually do more damage to to that one, so uh, I would have actually needed uh, needed the bloodstorm. Bloodstorm, which I thought I could could do without. So, I, st I still can't die this turn, but I don't have the evasion anymore. More ads coming from there. Yeah, I think I, I think I might have actually messed this fight up by not doing, not doing a full blown there in the first turn. So I think I, I think I will run, run out of steam here because I, I kind of, um, I don't know what was I even thinking there in the front. So I think this one will be uh, this one will be a loss. 
so I'll uh, I'll have to I have to reload this. I had a I had a brain fart there in the first turn. But we can uh, we can definitely do it in the second time. Now that I know know how that's uh I don't know, I for for some reason I thought I already already clicked on the upper, but I was just thinking about it. Okay, then there's all kinds of thought, blah blah blah. No more. One 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 one. Ten of fights. Okay, so this seems to go seems to go the same way every time. Okay. Okay. Let's do that better. Let's do what let's do what I was actually thinking about doing. Let's do what I was actually thinking about doing. So we take that one. We take the adrenaline. Um we cast our roses. So now all these are well, basically free. So then we do. Then we do the bloodstorm. Now, oh, but I need uh, I need the living on the edge here first. Yeah, I need uh, I need the living on the edge so that I don't die because I will take such a feedback from the shackles. Then um, I could do bloodstorm, but I'm not sure if. I think I need to do the skin craft here to get more action points, or or trust in the fact that the bloodstorm would actually kill one of them, which I don't think it will actually. Ah, oh, this is actually pretty interesting fights. This is actually a pretty interesting fight, isn't it? Because I have to, I have to go all in with my, uh, with my action, action points, action jackson. Then, uh, then I do this. It's almost almost killed a couple of them, so that means I can have execution execution thing a chingy from them. But the devourer is very much alive. But I do have the living on the edge, so I, I can't I can't die at least. So then I can do and kill you, so I get the execution AB. Get the execution AP and then uh, the grasp would be the biggest damage if I actually would group them somehow together a bit. Because I can't do a one turn kill here, I think the uncanny evasion might be might be mandatory here. Yeah, I think I need to do that. Need to do that and then um, If I, if I do swap and a grasp, I could kill them. But maybe I will just save that to the next turn, where where I will have actually quite a lot of quite a little action points. So then I could do. I can still probably afford swap grasp, and my actually my bloodstorm will do so much damage as well. Yeah, I think I'm okay. Unless they knock me down. One 
nightmare of Dream Prison. What is that? Will I die? No, they died to my... Okay. Oh, I still have the living on the edge. Okay. That was cool skill. It actually made me... Oh, he makes me... Uh, he makes me skip my turn. Ah, I'm dead. Good job, Devourer. Nice! Nice! I actually got XP while I was dying. <laughs> I actually got XP when I was dying. <laughs> okay, this is a this is a cool fight. This is a cool fight. This actually requires a little bit of a full blast. I like this. I like this. This is uh, this is nice. Okay. Wait a moment. Actually, I have to think about this. I have to. I have to go absolutely full blast on this. Oh, that tree impression was cool. He made me pass my turn. I wonder if uh, if I can avoid that if I actually have magic armor. Might be. Like do this, do this if without using like the using that T, using screencraft scrolls. Do this, do this without that stuff. But I do need to pre-buff. Do need to pre-buff. It seems that I don't need to jump around that much, so Phoenix dive is probably not needed. But I will take... Hmm. Let's take haste so I can actually pre-buff with that. So let me... Yeah, let's go... Let's go peace of mind. And then we rest. The Hall of Echoes manifests so, as a crude stone. So we are pre-buffed. With an impact like the dragon. What blah blah blah. What the, the dragon. No. He's been Will you sacrifice the power you deserve? To the hollow once your but the up. Now you need a new the ethereal. Do you need you will to betray the beast of the dream? You ain't getting it. I think I want high ground though, so I think that's uh I do want to do that. So I want to do this which which is what I was doing. So I go here. I want less sacrifice because that boosts my damage. So I'm 97 now without any additional buffs. I do what and drill him at least once. If I do the damage there and actually do a death wish. If I do the death wish. It with Bloodstone. Ah! I should cast the... <laughs> I 
should get the living on the edge before I do that. <laughs> this is why I don't play with honor. <laughs> Remember to click the right buttons. The, the, other, the other reason, other reason why I don't play with honor, although that has not been a case with this fern. The other reason why I don't play with, with honor is um, is um, that uh, whenever I'm uh, whenever I'm um, decayed, I drink a healing potion. Um, okay, but uh, so let's take the haste. Let's save it there. Okay, let's go again. The Hall of Echoes. The dragon. What? Every. This is what? The, div the dragon. No. He's been. Will you sacrifice? Will you? Do you? You but to betray. I will. The beast. The dream. You won't get. Okay, so this part is always the same. This time, this time, how about we do it in a way that we uh, do that one, then we take the living on the edge there, which I kind of, kind of forgot last time. Then let's teleport this guy down because I want to do a corpse explosion. So let's do that. Okay, so that puts me at the one hit point. So now. The death wish I could buff my things, but wait a minute, if I do. If I do apotheosis, or do I just do death wish? No, I think I think I need to do my my skin craft skin craft things there. So let's try it like that. So let's do let's do the apo. And we do skin. This gives me more action points. Hmm. So that wish buff would get definitely do uh, give me quite a lot of boosts. So what if I if I kill this guy? And it's a little, little tricky with all of all of these things happening. Maybe the death wish is something I can't do. I think this guy would die if I do the bloodstorm now. Then I would get two more points. I could do a corpse explosion there. Then again, if I do death wish in the bloodstorm, then I would be vulnerable. Honorable at least to that, uh, at least that dream prison. 25 hours stream. Let's see. Only, uh, only how much? Uh, 14 hours to go to that. No, we'll uh, probably go to probably go to 10 or 12. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, um, you have that much. If I do, if I do death wish and death wish and maybe try to kill you with infect. And again, all of all of that, all of that death wish will actually go into a. So 
So I probably need to unagain the evasion because I'm not winning this turn. Then again, if I hit you, then the grasp would be really good. Okay, let's let's do the bloodstorm. That might actually kill one of them. Without the death wish. If I Okay, there it is. So one of them one of them died, so I got the execution bonus. So if I actually pre-buffed with the living on the edge, I might be able to do it here in one turn. So now if we do corpse explosion on this guy. The devourer dies. Oh, that's it. That ends it. Okay. Easy. Easy. Well, not easy, but it's kind of... <laughs> Only 16,000 with the corpse explosion. Without... Death wish. Okay, so that ends the whole thing, just killing the devourer. The others don't matter. Okay. I guess you don't... I think in, in these fights you don't get uh, experience from these ones, so they didn't want to kind of, kind of want to add too much experience into, into the game. Hmm. But yeah, that still took... What was that? Four attempts? Because I was messing about, so I can't really boast too much about that, but the build is, build is good. Even against this one. Okay, so what do I... Do these get upgraded? And also everyone else disappears. The dreamer is there. Okay, I will. Uh, I will do a little experiment with that fight after this. But let's see what happens. Can I? So he gave me, gave me some Lutherino. Gave me some Lutherino and. Um, Strange. See what happens. A dream with hey, Valiant. Thank you so much for the follow. Yet every spirit bound to the Devourer is now free. The Dreamer bows, low and lingering with respect. I shall draw you back to the waking world as soon as you are ready. Okay. You will wake in peace. The gods may now claim these fallen souls. Farewell. Hey, these are now level 20s. Nice. Okay. Oh, this adds critical chance as well. With three rune slots, that is that is insane. That will give me nine intelligence. Yeah, I think I think Devourus, this is this is the way to go. Uh leggings. No, those will those will go to tear. More warfare from that will store that. So really good gloves, but not for not for this character. The boots. Not good enough, but this is this is crazy, this free rune slot thing I'm watching. This alone will probably get me to I will I will lose the I will lose two wits, I will lose two constitution. But I will gain four intelligence and ten critical chance. Reflect twenty percent of any damage, that is crazy as well. Okay. Um let's let me save that uh Post devourer. Let me go in and try that one more time. 
in a slightly different way. I want to want to see want to see one thing. Want to see one thing. Man, I remember the days of playing a game for 8 and 10 hours. Now that I mainly mainly play for YouTube, it's about 30 minutes to 2 hours per game per sitting. Yeah, that's... Uh, I remember that part. And that's, that's probably one of the things why I've kind of gotten addicted to streaming. Because uh, when I was... When I was doing YouTube videos, I was uh, I was kind of that same. So then, uh, doing doing these streams because I like to play the games for a long time. So then I've been I've been here today eight hours playing this game because I love it, and uh, can share it at the same time through streaming. So that's the I think that's the nice side of the of the streaming. You can actually do these long ones, but of course you do lose the you lose a little bit of quality. You lose the um, kind of more more focused approach in the YouTube videos, kind of. Okay, so let's uh, let's go let's go in a bit, living on the edge, right away. So I'm not even going to haste myself. So let's let's buff myself with uh, that one. Then I don't have to use the living on the edge action points in the fights. And I buff and I pre-buff myself with that. Let's take the rest. It. Let's get into the fight. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. And the beasts. I do wonder how much initiative, how much initiative the devourer has because I'm going in with 69. I'm going in with 69 initiative. Nice. Okay, 69 initiative. So let's um, let's take position. 69 position. Yeah, let, let's just go. Um, let's just go up here. And let's see if I can actually do even more. So. I don't think I actually need Apo here. Because I have the Living on the Edge now pre-buffed. I can pick this guy up. And uh, just the Teleport Critical will hit me so low. There, I take, uh, I take nasty damage. Uh, the Madness there is nearly dead. Hmm... So what if I... Okay, what would be the course of action here? Could I do grasp on the dragon? No, I could do... Bl okay, let's do let's do that. Okay, that's that's probably the most crazy damage I can do. Let's do... Let's do death wish. Let's do death wish. So that gives me now 76% bonus damage. Then let's do uh, a slow plot there, so that I can do a grasp on the dragon. So it is now at about 27,000 together with armor. So if I if I throw the grasp in there with these buffs at 97 intelligence. Let's hope this crash crits so we we see some crazy damage. Come on, come on, devourer, one shot. Can you taste the okay, not the air? not quite. My legacy is reborn. Twenty-five thousand. Twenty-four thousand. Yeah, I was hoping for more. That's that's still a pretty good grasp. Still pretty good grasp. And now corpse explosion kills it. Yeah, with the pre pre buffs, it's uh, no no even need for the other the other the, the blood because I thought I would have to kill the ads, so I was throwing the uh, throwing the bloodstorm, but uh, just to just to do uh, thirty two thousand damage with this build is not that not that bad, and this is not even my final form. <laughs> it's so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, Vitalik, I said, I said it again for you. Again. Strange. The dream. I shall. You will wait the gods. Okay, I have I have three runes right there, so I could actually use this right now. If I use it, my constitution goes down to 18, which is still enough. No, it's not enough, I need 19. I need one point of constitution from somewhere. I could get it from the clubs. So would I keep up... I do have to respec if I if I actually used uh, if I actually used Avel Avelayal here, I would lose one intelligence from this one, but the constitution would let me keep my pants on without respecting more in there, and I could swap around the points here a bit. And then if I put if I put three runes in here, this this is just crazy. The three rune slots items. I'm I'm 90 unbuffed. So if I do if I do rested, ease of mind, it's still 97. But the crit chance is 95 already. Hmm. I do get more initiative. I do get the witch from this one as well, so it's kind of a win over this one. So yeah, I think I think Tava Laval overall is better clubs. Because of the immunity to silence, the intelligence just losing one intelligence but gaining constitution with necromancer initiative over. So the contamination gloves are absolutely amazing because of the two rune slots, but I think Tava Laval is still better for uh, for this build. So let's go with that. And I think I will keep this. Uh, this is a little bit tougher because uh, I think I like that 10% critical chance already because it's throwing me so so close to a uh, 100 buffed. So let's store that in Lady Benjamin as well. I do uh, do agree, pardon, what, what you said there, that uh, when, when making YouTube videos, like, expect, expect your first videos to suck. Because my, my very first videos were horrible. My very first Minecraft videos were horrible. They are, they are still there, but they are unlisted, because they are, they are not something I really want, want people to find when they are searching for me. If someone who already knows me finds them, it's fine, but I don't want them to be uh, visible in the, in the search. But even even uh, my first Mountain Blade videos, they are they are a little bit cringy, at least for me. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I guess there's a little bit of nostalgia there. Okay, but yeah, this is this is pretty damn good. So if I find a if I find a good hat and a ring, then. Uh, it'd be it'd be getting there. So I think this now this now deserves this now deserves um eternal artifact which in a chest piece means uh well uh air resistance actually not more than that so would something else make more s actually the gloves would make m more sense to me. Yeah let's not do that. Let's do the gloves. Let's do the gloves. Because this gives even more constitution there. 
into into gloves. So that leaves me with one eternal, well, two two eternal artifacts here. And then uh, if I would find if I would find a good helmet, I could put it there. It would give me some huntsman and fineness. So I think I'm holding on to those ones still. Okay, that was uh, that was fun. Sorry, Arahu. I will. Uh, I will. One day, one day rescue you. Mm, do I want to do the lizard dream now? Guess I do since I'm here. So let's go do that. All right. I need that. I need the three spec because I uh, changed my skills. I changed the gear. I mean. Alright, someone kill. Is that gear? See you again. But yeah, never even whether whether you do gaming videos, whether whatever you do videos, you do what well whatever you do, but uh, with uh, with the video making in mind. Like uh, don't don't expect to be good at the beginning. Yeah, you'll uh, always always be learning. Okay, I can actually let go of a little bit of the constitution. A little bit of the constitution there. Um, I could put more points in memory. Maybe fine as if I find some uh, some interesting interesting things. I need to let go of one necromancer and put it in hydro so I keep my bloodstorm. Uh, everything else, I think, remains the same. Put the persuasion back to five because thievery gets to five with my gloves. Now that I have the boots that give me bonus. Uh, scoundrel warfare, two-handed still maximized, I think. So it is actually, it is actually pretty close, pretty close to the final form, but we are not there yet. So now the bloodstorm can be taken in with additional memory. We can put some things in, things in that I don't necessarily always need, like. Like the haste for the buff, because I also have a lot of haste scrolls. And... What else? I've been on purpose doing this run without Chameleon Cloak. It's probably very doable without Uncanny Evasion as well, but... That I have been using. Not many, not many things with this that you actually, actually need. I guess the first aid could help you if you actually, actually end up being deceased or something like that. Or even a bleach attack, which would also help you move around in an interesting manners. So that could, that could work. I haven't used the challenge much, and the uh, knockdown abilities, they are very situational now. So I 
I'll guess I'll just put armor of frost there, I guess. Actually, before I... No, let's go... Let's go and talk to Dargin. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? So, did you get any? No, I have not leveled up yet. You will get them at level 21. So, no new... No new things on you. I almost, almost feel like on the level 21 I would save scum myself some crazy These helmets and ring. Because then, uh, then it would be like really close to what this could, this can like at maximum be. But uh, as far as this lone wolf build goes, uh, level 20 is already enough. Oh. It's already enough and there's not much I actually gain. I gain a little bit of utility in the remaining levels. <laughs> Alright, Viterik, you enjoy the silence. Yeah, let me before I before I give it that give that to you, let me uh let me check your uh, stats. It is number sixty three. Yes it is. Alright, Viterik. Enjoy the silence. Timeout number sixty three. Still don't understand your personal call of 69 timeouts, but there you go. I'm growing soft, aren't I? Not needed. Not needed. Oh no. Not needed there either. Okay, good. Oh. Let's, let's go, let's go do the dream. Hey, Mary Career Pilt. You have the best Let's Play of Fallout 3. Man, loved it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so much. I, um... Fallout... Fallout 3 was one of my... Like, is... Is, like, my favorite game of all time. I've talked about it before. There's a nostalgia value. It's not the best game ever, but it's my favorite game ever. So I think that's kind of showed a bit in that roleplay. And also, I had to, uh, already... Um... Tried a bit of the role playing Skyrim when I when I was doing the Fallout, so it kind of uh, was the next iteration of the in character role playing. It isn't okay. Let's do this. This is um, fascinating. It may be a dream, but if you die here, you die for real. I remember this fight being uh, quite a tricksy one with uh, with these uh, these mirrors here. Good evening, God woken. I oh. trust you sleep. Well. Hey Alexander, I tried to sneak away, but you uh, surprised me. I am here to tell you that I do not. You are not the glass. Yet. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, in this stream there's there's um, Melody, there's Alexander, there's uh, there's Vindigo, and uh, they will resurrect themselves from these mirrors if you don't kill these mirrors. So it's um, it's quite a quite an interesting one. Let's see if I can actually break this mirror with Alexander here. Ah. 
Oh, they actually die when I do that mirror. Okay, that's interesting. Do I get experience? Oh, yes I do. Okay, that's smart. I didn't... Okay. I didn't figure out that. <laughs> I first... So all, all you actually have to do is kill these mirrors, not even them. So what I was doing in my first playthrough and second playthrough <laughs> was actually killing them and then when they were dead, in the, in the turn before they resurrect, I killed the mirrors. What you actually need to do is kill these mirrors, right? Okay, I feel I feel a little bit stupid now. I actually feel a little bit stupid. But they do come back, as long as there are mirrors. Okay. And the wind... wind sounds here are... are interesting. But I guess they still die... I guess they still die if I kill the mirror. Maybe my teleport was actually killing them. Okay. Um. Constitution for that, that's good. I want to make sure I kill you, so let's do. It should kill you. And then, uh, then you disappear, and then we can uh, run, 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 run with our, uh, with our haste. And then we can do something like this. Oh, there's still one mirror there. Okay. So, um, Alexander is still around. I didn't see. No, that's. Are they all coming back? I don't know. Oh, and their source goes away. I didn't know the stats out. Last mirror. Steady, 
and Vendigo is still there. Okay, so they they all do appear. So. Okay. So yeah, that was uh, that was a whole lot whole lot harder on four man party playing that blind because it probably took me took me several times to figure out that I actually need to destroy the mirrors. I was like, oh, why do they keep back? When does this nightmare end? Yeah, I am short one source point because I was a little stupid there. At least this feels familiar. Uh, yes, the site is fellow. If if you don't mind spoilers, I will say where you can find it in three seconds. Three, two, one. You can uh, get it in the cathedral. You need to steal it. So you can find it on uh, one of the statues. The one of the statues is holding it like this. I have buffed I have buffed this with eternal artifact so it has the air damage and the shock damage but uh, strength intelligence warfare that's there and I'm using this for the 20% critical damage basically It does give me the living on the edge and uh, all so uh it does save me or could tier in theory save me with some memory points if I wanted to add more points in strength for example uh, okay, I don't remember this fight. I think they uh, they appeared in some uh, some weird angles here. So let's save. Let's buff. Uh, see how this fight goes. Sleeping on the job. You, you are not he, the Red Prince. Just no further than this shall you go. That is not. For you to know. You cannot know. You may not know. You shall know. You shall not. He squints at you for what seems. I believe you. The red princess is behind that very door. He reaches out and hands you something small and shiny. A key. Hmm. Not memories, no. Can I still fight them? This is the war that looms in my people. I didn't even I didn't even know it's war possible to persuade them. Scorn the ways of the lizards. A war that will require strong, united, an extra layer of protection for the princess. Because it will be a turning horror sleep of I do not know it. May you sir Can I still attack these guys? Hmm. Okay, I might have, I might have actually found a way to do get a whole lot of more experience out of this because I, because I already got experience from uh, proceeding with the quests. So we already got the key to get out, so we don't have to fight for the key. So instead, we can just uh, see if we, uh, if we get some experience from uh, actually fighting these guys now. So they, they do their teleportation thing about Chingis. made of XP or not. I'm probably just killing you with this. Oh, you still get experience from killing them. Nice. Okay, so this works. First we first we convince them and then we then we murder them. Best of best of both worlds. How far are you? Three meters, that's a little bit too much. But 
Aber gut, du ist... Ähm I think I can kill them all in one turn. I think I can. So if I do... If I do corpse explosion on you... I do skin crafts... No, actually first we... First we jump... First we jump here. Then we do skin crafts. Swap with this guy. Then we teleport this guy here and now uh, kill them both. Do I get experience from these guys? I don't really pay attention. Okay, I do. Now let's get out of here. Okay. So you definitely want to fight them. For the maximum experience. And that's quite a lot of experience as well. So we are... We have uh, done like 1.2 million in not, not that short of time period here. Getting closer to that level 21. Somewhere nice. Somewhere nice, sure. An oasis of horror in a desert of well. Okay, so there's such huh? And talk to her, convince her. Zolstisser, aid me. Even here the agents of the God King threaten my life. You killed the dreamer to me, guardians of dreams. Okay, so I can't say surround me from all sides. I kind of forgot to take my source point, but I don't, I don't really need it. So let's move a little bit. Let's swap this guy. This guy there. Can we reach that guy? Not quite, so maybe with the zero action points we can. Hey, Pusa! Thank you so much for the follow and welcome! Let's do the less sacrifice flow this guy there. The craziest thing about uh, almost 100 intelligence is the amount of damage that the teleportation does. Okay, 5,000. I actually need to use a spell to kill this guy. Craft again. Nether swap with this guy. Teleport this guy and get on with them. So Oh! I messed up. They actually they actually got a turn. 
I didn't look at my uh, look at my action points. So this is this is one of the problems with this. Uh, hey JFKZ, cheers, man. This is one of the problems with this build because it is it is so powerful. That's it. you can you can win these fights without zinging. So then you might make mistakes like that, which might actually cost because this build this build is very much of a glass cannon. So if the AI actually had some knockdowns or uh, they would uh, get your all your magic armor and lock you down, you might actually lose these fights pretty easily. Oh, it was not hydrates. I will have a drink and then I will time you out. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. All right, Chef Gizzy, enjoy the silence. That's what that was surprise blacklist boys indeed. Okay. If I would need more runes, I would have, uh, have so many. Can, can I actually use this? Uh, oh, it's just consumable. So I still, still have the herb mixes from the herb mixes from the from Act Two. Can I use it with this one? Oh, you could just get the Drene, okay. It would be nice to uh, have a chance to actually actually get uh, the herb mixes. Herb mixes go as well. I can see the consulate on the other side. <laughs> you gotta walk the dogs, put them on a home trailer, and keep watching them all. <laughs> nice one, Skip. Uh, no, wait. No, wait. I didn't, uh... I didn't get the... chest yet. Okay, it didn't actually matter. Why do, why do I remember that there was something... something to be, uh... Something to be collected from here. Oh, but I think I at least I got all the XP. There might be some loot here, but not that's not that important for this character. The consulate guard. Talk about a nightmare. Sata, the Red Princess, attacked us. Sata is dead.
All right. I'm I'm feeling good today, so I think I will keep on going for yet another patch. However, I will take a short break before that. What I want, what I want is uh, to f remember and find where the where the doctors, where the doctors. Um, Demons attack me again. That's one thing. And then uh, I also need to have Kim's Kim's guys attack me as well. Not sure where that happens either, but let's um, let's continue. Let's continue. So I'll have a short break. Short break and then uh, let's keep on going for like two to one and a half hours yet today. So the full, four full 12 hours. We'll see you guys in a bit.